Hello and welcome back to Snowman on our hard mode series. You join us in Alaska still. And by the looks of our, our job that we're, we were going to head out and do, I think, is the um, power line. Checking in on the power lines. So if I have a quick look. Yeah, so power line A, B, C, and D. I think what we want to do is try and sneak up here that'll hit that one then we can either try and fight our way around or just go around hit hit it climb up and hit it go down up and over and um that should be the four so we'll see how we feel after we hit the first one and then i think after this we'll leave the rest of the the little time challenges and we'll head into Mountain River and start scouting out there. So let's just... I think everything's on all, all the time anyways. It's been a while since I've tried to do this. <laughs> Maybe we'll go for an even lower gear. Things we're not turning. Not turning. Not a good start. Up through the trees, please. There we go. So I know where I want to go. Apparently getting my vehicle there is harder than, uh, than I expected. Right. So that looks pretty, pretty dense. Oh, I hate when the camera does that. There we go. Can we see? We can't see, can we? It looks pretty dense. I, I, I wish we didn't have the camera collision. Yeah, down there looked pretty dense. So we're going to go back and we'll take the road. We risked a roll uh, last episode. And we got one, so we don't want any more. We've, we've done enough, enough roll risking. I've not put my teeth in today, quite clearly, because we're about 40 seconds in and um, stumbling my words already. If we go in cab, I might be able to find my way down here a little easier. Not a guarantee, but... There we are. So we shall just travel around. And we'll hit them the easy way. Why not hit them the easy way? No need to fight and struggle with all of it all the time. So I hope you're well, as always. Thank you for coming back and joining us as we continue our, venture, our adventures. I need to stop talking and make this just like a time-lapse series because I cannot speak. <laughs> oh dear, right, let's get out of that. So I th think we need to... Let me just double-check. Can I... Skibbity-bop across there, do you think? Well, we're going to give it a go, aren't we? <laughs> Do you think? Oh, let's try it. Yeah, of course we can. Oh, dear. Okay. That is making me so nauseous. Just, I don't like this. The camera angle is out of my control. It just... Such a horrible feeling. Just up between the trees. I don't think our scouting progress is going too bad. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I do apologise if anyone else has that issue as well. Trust me, I'm right with you.
Where's the box? Because it's going to do it again around here. If I can keep my camera on the outside. There we go. Ooh, not good. If we get a little um, stop and a stutter, <laughs> a pause in the recording. Um, my son's quite adamant that he's not going to go to bed and go to sleep tonight. So <laughs> there may be a few breaks in this, but hopefully not. Fingers crossed. So then our final one is just over this way. another few pennies in the bag for us that pays out quite well but for, it, for what it is I think that pays out well whether you're supposed to struggle with it a little bit more or whether it's you know mon <laughs> monetary reimbursement for the uh, the nauseating camera angles but next up I mean, we could Obviously, there are jobs to do here. We could do them. But I, I would like to just go out and scout next. So, we're going to go up. It's this way. That's our tunnel up there. We've not even headed towards it yet. But that's where we're going to go. Mountain River, it's smaller. But it's quite dense and compact. There's a lot in there in Mountain River. A fair bit to do. There's a lot of um, factories and warehouses and, you know, like production points that we can get all our resources from. Although our main garage is like here in Northport, a lot of, in the, in the previous um, runs that I've done anyway, a lot of my deliveries sort of work their way out of that Mountain River. Plus Mountain River allows us to reach all three of the other maps there's just not a garage there to reset to if we do have a disaster you have to come from either North Pole or uh, the other garage which map I forget its name of why do I forget the name uh, White Valley there we go but Mountain River does have a, a river challenge that I really struggle with. Not a fan. And I was comforted by the fact that the master, Mr. Wessel, also uh, back when I watched him do his um, Alaska quite a while ago now, uh, he struggled with it too. So I, I don't feel so bad that I struggle with that all the time. We'll see, we might be able to do it with our load star. When the time comes, we're going to save that till near the end. We'll do that last. So here we are, Mountain River, Alaska, USA. I believe there are a fair few... Uh, I was going to say collectibles. Um... Upgrades about here as well. There's a truck for rescue there. We do have a truck to get for ourselves. Way up over here. This is for us. This is the cat. We'll be getting that hopefully today. Let's um let's head out. Let's start by heading left. As you would have seen it, there is a truck here. I forget what this one even goes to. Service convoy. Hi, I'm Bennett from Alaska Silver Extraction. The service trailer in our convoy is stuck in some deep mud. When Dyer helped get it unstuck, we're happy to pay for the going rates. Okay. Except start tracking. So where's that? Just down just one ahead. Yeah, it's not, not a hard one at all. Right, yeah? 
I say that. I'm pretty sure our load star will move this. As it bounces into the mud. I'm sure we'll be fine. Have you got fuel? Oh, it's out of fuel. Well, just to make this a little bit easier, I will... Give you a little fuel, sir. There you go. Now you come follow me. Nice little number to break ourselves in with. I think there's an upgrade around the top here somewhere as well. I'm not certain. There might not be. If there was, we might have just sort of driven past it as we were collecting up this truck. But once we've hit all the uh, watchtowers, we should um, have all the upgrades and everything visible for us. We'll just keep looking out though, just in case. It might be over that way actually. I think there is. I think there's an upgrade over there. Again, it was it was well over a year ago that we were in Alaska on the stream series, I think, or about a year ago, so it's, it's been a while. I talk about it like we still do it, but that's because I miss it. We just don't, don't have the time at the moment, which is a shame. There we are. So, easy job. 1200 in the pocket so we're already up by like nearly five grand for the day I think so now this one I'm not sure if this is for a job or what so we'll have a little sneak excuse me a little sneaky sneak on it thank you very much Oh, let's just drive into it as well. So yeah, our first service hub point is here. And I'm going to head back round from whence we came for now. Because I think that there's an upgrade in them, in them there woods. I think with the stream stuff, I think I started my Michigan as we hit Alaska. No, nothing. Nothing doing, nothing popping. See? Let's keep looking. What made me think there was one up here? Nice little shortcut route, though. Well, not a shortcut, but it takes you around sort of the, the obstacles of, of here. Now, there's a fuel trailer there. But yeah, definitely, definitely no, uh, no upgrade lit up, did it? Well, since we're up this way, we will go around. We'll we'll loop around and through this map a few times, I think, doing little things. There might be the old trailer job we can do and pull. We'll try and hit as much as we can. something here that's going to want trailer delivered just trigger that um, oh got an upgrade around the back let's just go get that so around the back 
Just in their back garden. Thank you kindly. And that's for the Fleet Star and the Western Star. So I think that's the uh, the final engine upgrade for both of those. So, uh, I'm Bob Fletcher, local environmentalist. I'm concerned about the construction of the new pipeline. Can you help me and my team get in? Uh, team get to it so we can perform our survey and make sure everything is above board we certainly can we'll start tracking so reach the research zone yeah we can do that we'll pull that down and we'll go through the mud and over the river that should be all right we can do that we can do that on our travels. Like I say, we'll zigzag across a little bit. It's not going to be super fuel efficient, this scouting, but... It'll be a little bit like um, in Michigan, where I won't worry about fuel efficiency until we start running out of fuel. <laughs> but there are some... And again, I can't remember where... where all the fuel go goes, and whether... Or which ones are for jobs like contracts and stuff but there are obviously we've got one and a half or one and a third large fuel trailers in the port there's i know that there's two large fuel trailers in pedro bay so that's a lot of fuel just there there will be little fuel trailers and such scattered about in other places so there's there's a lot of fuel about but I said that before. Deja vu, my friends. So I think. Yeah. I was further along than I thought I was. I want to go down there. No. Just turn. Just just turn. Come on. Just turn. Just turn a little bit for me. There we go. Nice bit of mud for us. So then we've got a pipeline here to repair. <laughs> right. And that's there. That's an actual contract job. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll just we'll follow it around as it's supposed to go. So we've got a trailer store and we've got a factory there, or a warehouse. This bit of pipe is already established and over there we have an upgrade. Might be able to see the abandoned car. So we'll get this in where they want to go, and then we'll go and get the upgrade. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. That's just silly, sir. That is just silly. There we go. So they'd like to do some science so they can have that. That's fine. Let's go get our upgrade. We 
we have a high range gearbox and that is for miniature I don't tend to use the high range I know others do and they do well with it whenever I try a high range gearbox it doesn't seem to go well but maybe we can experiment with one whoa 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 Turn it a tree climbing crab or something there. Right, so where should we head to next? We've got the trailer store. So we've sort of gone a bit, a bit out of our way now. Um, we can go this way, and we should be able to find our way back up there to hit that. So we'll try that. Should be all good. So we've got a watchtower, and I know that we have an upgrade out by sort of the uh, the river's edge, whatever you might want to call it. Now. I think we might even be better off taking the river away. Not 100% on that because that ice isn't always fun. But we'll give it a try. Let's we'll see what we can do. I think as long as we're careful, we'll be alright. But something that I learned a little bit late in my first few times traveling through Alaska is that more often than not through the river and the riverbeds is actually a better way to travel around this map not always quite often so yeah there's our upgrade over there Standard. And we have got a raised for the standard in Nesta Lodestar. So thank you very much. So whereabouts is the track in relation to us? I think we can maybe find our way there through the trees or around the trees. Much safer route if you've not done this before. There you go. You want to come through the trees there and just head down. You can reverse back out. <laughs> you don't have to risk a roll. Like I said, the first and the second episode, I anticipate quite a few of those rolls. We, we just have to sort of stay calm with it and accept that this is something that's going to happen here with my skill set. So where is the tower? This way. No. There we go. There we go. I don't think there's anything else hidden up this way, if I remember rightly. Nope. It would have shown if there was, but we can have a little look across the map.
So next we want to head. We'll head down the safe way. And we shall. We'll go along the front. Because there we've got a gas station. We've got a fuel trailer we can pull in. We'll be coming right across. And then we'll head down onto the other side. That's what we'll do. Like I say, this this map, Mountain River isn't very big, but it is quite tight in places. And getting large trailers through here can be quite challenging. Getting large vehicles through some of it can be quite challenging. And we've got a bridge we need to build so we can get vehicles through. And we have, let's say, the, uh, the downed oil pipe that needs to be uh, fixed as well. Gas station. Sure, there was a fuel trailer here. So not. Oh, it's it's tucked right back. As I say, that's my fuel trailer gone. We will just stick that on here, so then we can grab. When we come past at different times. That'll do. hole in the road that we will forever have to avoid. Now we're back to the service hub. Or whatever that was service something. Nice views across here though. Michigan's brown. Alaska is white. That's our palette. So we've got a choice of route. I'm just trying to think which one offers any jobs or not. I think we'll just go. We'll go down here. This is what we'll take. We'll take this one. Yeah, over there there's a challenge, and it's to hit all the flags along the river. And although I've said it's it's easier to traverse the river than it is some of the roads, that bit of the river is it's really not. Um, that that bit of the river is tough, and you have to do it in cab. And if you can't see where the uh, where the blue ice is, it's near impossible. Just I just really struggle on that one. I don't think I've ever managed it. Here. This will put some bricks down in the river, I think. Bricks in the river, yeah. 
just trigger it. They're all right. They're not going to cause us any um, havoc if we leave them there. And we will be coming through here a fair bit. So I might even leave that fuel here for now. Now, back here somewhere. It's annoying that I'm here now. So I'm not sure exactly where it is. There is a upgrade. So we'll probably have to come and get that a little bit later. Once we've hit the uh, watchtower. Now, this is a challenge to go up and down. And I think it's like in... Well, should we see how long it is? Top and back. In two minutes. I think we can do that. I think we can do that. I, I quite like this one. I've never found this one overly difficult. So anticipate this being really hard this time. Because I've never done it on hard mode, and hard mode seems to make everything even harder. So, shall we? See if we can get up to the top, and back down again. Just so we can knock off a challenge and say we've done something. You do have to hit the markers. Okay, we've got a pretty decent vehicle for it. This side and then round and we have to shoot back down again. Try and do it without rolling. There we go, right. Back down the side. There we go. One minute and eight. That was, I think that might be my personal best. Um, but we can do that quite a few times if we wish. We're not um, now. If we come back this way, we might try again. Perhaps we'll try it in a different vehicle as well. Um, I've done it in in an A&K civilian quite comfortably before. We've got to go back up anyway. Um, perhaps that's what the fuel was there for, so you can keep going up and down. So we can come and do that four more times when we need cash. <laughs> yeah, not not too tough a one. Um, you know, I know some people struggle with this one. I've watched a few people struggle with it. It's not, not one that I've ever found challenging. But others don't find the hitting four posts or the four points challenging. And, you know, I flip, to, I flip on them all the time. So we're all good at different things. Checking I'm going a, on a route to somewhere. I am. Revealed a few more spots for us. So, did it go? Oh, our upgrade is over here. So, it's a good job I didn't just go off wandering because it's not there anyway. But we've got river contest, we've got bricks in the river. Top and bottom, you can now see we've got a fuel station here. The broken bridge is fully highlighted. Then up here, we've got our gateway. We've got another upgrade to collect here. This is a fair old bit still about. So we'll, we'll head down and we'll go and get that upgrade. And I must remember that the mor when morning comes, it's sometimes still pretty dark because we keep missing our seven o'clock point. I'm just going to put a marker on that. I'd also like to stop tracking that.
this is a track through the woods. I don't think it's very well um, sort of highlighted or visible on the map that there's a track here, but there is. Are we squeezing that bit? No. Can I even get out at all now? No. Just so I can roll out. Yeah, I can get up the other side by the looks of it. Oh. Them indestructible branches I'm driving up of now. There we go. So we've got an engine for the Royal, so that might come in handy. We left the Royal um, up by the garage, so we can uh, sort that out and do stuff with it. That's why I didn't really want to venture out with it. I know we've got upgrades to collect for vehicles that we can use here. So in my head, it just always makes sense to try and get them first. It's not always the most efficient way of playing it and doing it, but it's my way. And not every map is going to allow us to do that. I know that once we get to time here, you know, in a few months' time, when we get to time here, um, you can't even leave the first map until you've done certain jobs and progressed so far. So, you know, I can't always go out and just do a big scout and job and collect up all the upgrades and hit all the towers and, and mark everything. That'll have to be a, a different process, the way we do that. So, next up... We'll go up. Where should we go? Oh, we've got the road that's next to us. We'll take on the watchtower and then we'll get the upgrade. That's how we'll do it. So we'll attempt to do it. So it's quite compact. A lot of it's very narrow. When you try to start trying to get trucks about and tow anything, and when we go out, we do jobs with trucks. I probably, I'll either be like in the in the royal and and pulling the uh, the load star behind me and using that as a bit of a fuel trailer and support truck, or I'll bring a second truck through and sort of use them working off each other because we're going to want to move the fuel trailers about and you can't move the fuel trailers that we have here the big ones you can't move them if you've got a crane on the back of your truck so so I have to pick and choose what it is you're going to be using and what you're not so we've got work shift here. Oh, I was going to come back out, wasn't I? Let's, um... Because there's nothing here to get. So I'll go and get... That upgrade. So I said I would. We're going to get the upgrade. Oh, it's time anyway. Ah, we've got hours. Yeah, that worked out to about 15, 20 minutes still. In. That is uh, the Kodiak. We've now got all-wheel drive for that. That'll come in handy because that is our fuel trailer. That'll probably definitely be coming through. <laughs> uh, I 
Maybe not. We might not have to pull it through. Now we may have a little challenge for the Lodestar here. We may have a challenge. I think there's a few jobs this way. I know we've got some deliveries to do up here as well. We have to deliver over there at some point. There we have it. I'm George, the foreman of the lumber mill. We need help with our workhorse, and by that I mean the Caterpillar 745C. It's taken quite a beating over the years that you can repair it and get it to the sawmill, except and track. So we need to repair it. Just enough. Look at that. <laughs> I saved it. Thing is, you can. We could have pulled it and then gathered up one of those um, service trailers, I guess, because now I've used up all my bits. I've got to go <laughs> replenish that. So, maybe not the wisest choice, but. It is sorted. It's sorted now, at least. I wonder if it has any fuel in it. It might do. It might have some fuel. Oh. Oh, let me get past this bloody post. There we go, she's got some fuel. Having it fixed up here is easier. We, you can pull it down. I think in the past I've always pulled it down and then repaired it. Oh, yeah. Done it this way. And we will try and take it. Um, yeah, we won't weave through down there. We'll try and go out the top end if we can. Should be easy enough. And then it's just going down a straight road. It's articulated, so it, it turns quite nicely for the size it is. And when we deliver it, um, we should get it. It should be ours. I don't think they want us to put fuel in it. I'm not sure if we have a service parts replenish point here. Have a not been here in hard mode before and those are the sort of things I never remember when watching other people's uh, episodes when they do when they do do it as I like to say so yeah we're going down here <coughs> excuse me sorry about that Easy peasy. There we go. So we get two grand, 190 XP, but more importantly, we get the caterpillar, which is awesome. So a new, another new vehicle. So next, I think, I think we might be pretty much done with what we can do. Let's put the map the right way around for me. Yeah, we might be done with what we can do for me. I'm going to drive down here, though, uh, just to trigger all that. And I think that's a service trailer there. And then we've got a, a large trailer that needs to come out. Another one. I think there's three, maybe four of them that we've got to pull. It's similar to the one that we looked at in the port. 
Right, we'll go down here just to uh, highlight it because, um, if I remember rightly, we won't find out what we can get from places if we don't go to them first. So here we've got another another large oil rig there, and this is the uh, the surface repair that we probably should have used for the cat. Now there's, I know that there is, once you get up and running, there is a, a repair, a service repair that automatically restocks you and repairs you. But you have to build that or get up and running in Pedro Bay, so we're all good. Probably don't want to leave that there either, but that'll be in the way when we want to do something else later. Never mind. Right, at least we know everything's there. So let's just have a look. Just want to double check that I haven't missed an upgrade anywhere. It will be at the bottom if I have. Nope. I don't think there's anything sort of sneakily hidden up here. Or down there. Down there. That bit's all open to us. We've got to go down there a few times anyway, but I don't think there's anything... Down there, we've got a fuel carrier down there, another small one. So that's pretty good. So I think what we'll do is make our way to Pedro Bay. That's where we'll, that's where we'll go next. I think, I think Pedro Bay on a scale is a little bit larger than Mountain River. Everything feels uh, very much spread out when you're there. It's quite challenging to get to everything. So there's no fuel point, but there are two large fuel trailers on the map. Should have gone the other way. Never no mind, right. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Easy up. I might go and just collect that. Uh, there's a fuel carrier there. It's a larger one, I think. I might pull that out of there. If they're up and along the road, they're of a lot more use to us than if they're down at the end of a track. So then we can fill up as we pass by. Whether we're coming in here or not. Right, that is of no use. Down here. And it may even need delivering somewhere. Again, I cannot remember. It was that long ago that I was last sort of here doing these jobs. And... It was all on easy mode. It was on hard mode. So when you, I find that when I'm driving around and I'm doing stuff on easy mode, I don't tend to worry about where the fuel is as much, unless it is like an area where you know there is no get no gas station. If there's a gas station, I'm not too worried. You never know if the next little bit goes well. We we could have an, another vehicle for this episode as well. I don't think we will. Um, I tend to go the opposite route round, but we'll, we'll have a look. See what we can uh, get and unearth. There's not many jobs in Alaska where 
the trailers are already loaded up for you like they were in Michigan like in, in Michigan there was just like trailers full of materials everywhere whereas now not so much at all uh, yeah I think that'll be right there So as if we had, if we had the 80 grand and never start a Michigan and we could have just brought this from the get-go, you could probably do half a Michigan with this vehicle because you'd just be able to pull all them trailers about with all the, all the goods on. Because I think there's enough materials on all those trailers scattered about Michigan to do like all the unlocking of the maps and clearing of the roads and all that stuff. Hopefully we'll get to see Petro Bay in the daylight. <laughs> We're not worried about it now. Uh, we've probably got about 10 minutes. Now down here, um, you have to be a little bit careful. There's a lot of ooh, icy road. But we've got our, um, our spike tread, so we're not sliding about at all. Yeah, this is all ice, so if you've not got chains on, or if you've not got the, the modded spike tyres, this is a tough one. So we have um, rock clearance up here. So we've got a landslide, and that requires two wooden planks. I think there is. Mm, no, there isn't. Is there a trailer here? If you don't mind paying, there's a gooseneck trailer that we can't attach. That's got metal <laughs> metal beams on it for something else. Right. Then we have. Uh, dangerous route except start tracking and that I think is um, wooden plank four wooden planks and that is for a bridge over here so we've got the uh, Morrison's landslide and we've got the bridge for the dangerous route a watchtower there if I pan out you can see it that's a fairly good sized one um, but everything is really, really panned out. Now, if we could go this way, we could go and get another vehicle. Uh, that is an ANK, uh, but that is not uh, the civilian. That is the uh, the st what I call the standard version, and uh, that that has the trailer on it. Uh, it has the side board bed on it. That's what it comes with, two slot. So you can do everything in here with that, or not everything, but you do a lot of jobs with that, if you wouldn't have a crane to load it, so it's like, do you, if you're happy to pay for everything, you can do a lot here, uh, sort of straight off the bat. We might explore that as an option of convenience, because we know now that Things aren't all that expensive when we buy them. 150, I mean, it soon adds up. You buy 10 items, I guess, and it's. And I don't even know if it's like different price for different items, actually, because all we're basing it off is a, a couple of service parts and some medium logs. Other items might cost more. Yeah, so here, that is the. Uh, what was that? Well, wooden planks, yes, but here we've got the gooseneck with metals. So if we had a low saddle, that would be pretty handy, but we don't, unfortunately. Because we could use them, we need two metals for the, I remember the pipes here, we need two metal for the, the broken pipe that is around here. We're just going to keep exploring. Um, got me mindful of time, actually. Got a few minutes, so... Let's just get to that watchtower, shall we? Let's do that. Let's get to the watchtower, and then that'll be it for our first exploration. Or not our first exploration, but our exploration of um, 
Mountain River completed and started to Pedro Bay. That's not a bad day, actually. For me, that's, that's quite good. And it didn't give us anything, so we must have found much of what it was going to point out. Hopefully it will mark up a... No, not even an upgrade. I haven't a clue where the upgrades are here. <laughs> have not the slightest, not the skibbity. Right. Don't even know if that's the right terminology there. But, yeah, half past six. I think we'll call that it. And then next time out, we'll keep heading down. Come to this watchtower, then work our way across. And then um, try and work whatever little jobs we can. If there are any we can work, or... I'll try and find the upgrades and we'll go and get the ANK. I must remember there's a job here as well. I've forgotten about that twice. When um, I think that I've completed Alaska and then there's, there's a job from there to climb the top of the mountain. And there is an upgrade at the top of the mountain. So I've been up here to get the upgrade before. The chore of it. Spiraled down, got off and done stuff. Then had to drive all the way back to go here to trigger the job to go back up. So we must remember that. But that is it for this one. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.